Hello, this is that creepy bald guy, and season three has come to an end. And there are so many people that I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank all you fans for sticking with me. I'd like to thank all the reviewers I covered for not being little bitches and trying to get my videos removed. I'd like to thank Spoonie for going batshit insane shortly after I released my review of him. I'd like to thank Boy Named Sue 4 for being the only one to comment in my review of the movie Lockout. And most of all, I'd like to thank Naminator 5. Although I'm not sure why. But thank you anyway. So season 3, the year-long season, was an interesting season slash year indeed. I covered the wildly uneven Suburban Nights. I pissed off AVGN fanboys with my re-review of AVGN. I double-teamed Robert Million with Spazmaster. That sounded a little weird. Did many reviews of the happy video game nerd in the movie preview critic, changed sets, changed mics, and fooled some people into thinking I wasn't the psychotic video game nerd. Which I'm not. You guys are crazy. But let's go ahead and talk about the reviewers I covered for Season 3. What about the caustic critics, the angry reviewers whose internal suffering provides many laughs? Or groans? Film Brain's bad movie Beatdown is alright, having some really good reviews and some really generic ones, but I still recommend him if you like this style. Phalus is less of a critic, but I found his videos to be more enjoyable thanks to his amusing delivery and tighter pacing. Shitcase Cinema showcases some of the finest accents to ever appear in a video review show. Uh oh, and he's funny too. Of course, we also covered the Mac Daddy of Angry Reviewing himself, Spoonie One, and he's a natural at it. Although that does give him an unfair advantage over most caustic critics because they're not legitimately insane. But his reviews are still entertaining, and I do not regret giving him the three-star rating. But these are all good examples of the caustic critics. What about the bad ones? Oh yeah, MPN 1990s Unlicensed Garbage, which has the reviewer shrieking like a little girl and presuming that's supposed to be funny. Now I love the sounds of little girls shrieking just as much as the next guy, but doing so under the pretense of reviewing is just unappealing to me. Still, even he acknowledges the badness, and I wish him luck for future review shows. Now with the vloggers, one that I did like was Mr. G Movie Reviews, who predictably reviews movies. He's pretty crazy and bold, but more importantly, he is amusing. Next we have the Gay Comic Geek, who covers gay comics. I still have my suspicions that he is a member of the homosexual community. His vlogs were more than acceptable, even if I have no interest in the subject whatsoever. I swear! Ironically, the most popular reviewer here is Cool Duder, but his videos were hit and miss and did little for me. Okay, now that we've covered the caustic critics and the vloggers, let's talk about the reviewers who focus more on their production values as well as their acting. Angry Joe's video game reviews amuse me greatly, but while having the most fans, he also has the most detractors. It comes down to how much you like his mugging. He also has the best use of a green screen. Spazmaster reviews whatever the hell he feels like, but like Joe has a good screen presence even though he's not as hammy. Huey Toon Moore, aka Bill, looks like a pimp and I have a sneaking suspicion that he prostitutes other that follow the coat reviewers. Poor, poor some jerk with a camera. He instills his almost always positive reviews of animated movies with excitement and energy. These guys were all very enjoyable. At last, we've come to the Critiquing the Critics Reviewer Elites, where we talk about the best this season had to offer. First we have Nerd With Words, who is hilarious but also insightful when it comes to his videos of movie news, reviews, etc. Whatever he tends to do, I tend to like. Then we have Acorn Cinema, who covers games, oddly. He may have delivered the most entertaining web show of this season, but he also happened to have a lot of interesting info too. Spill Crew's ambitious animation gimmick is spectacular, but the reviews themselves are briskly paced and very, very, very funny. Then we have Cover Art Fail, who took a premise that I initially disliked, but it turned out to also be one of my favorite web shows of the season, if not of all time. Informative and comical, it's always nice to see something different. Now with my Angry Joe review, I pretty much figured out how subjective some of my claims were. That's the only reason he's not here, but I guess I might as well say that yeah, he belongs in the reviewer elites too, because I did give him a four-star rating and I have to stick with that. But the best reviewer of season three is... Apollo Seahack! Did that mother fracking theme song just interrupt me? Whether it be the hack down, a review of her saga, or damn it, I even love... Well, damn. Apollo Z Hack has the perfect balance of everything. And by balance, I mean that he excels at everything. 
He's got a great personality which he uses to maximum effect, wonderful critiquing skills that are just as interesting as they are informative, and jokes that resist the cliché norms and are just outright creative. Even when he's going crazy with storylines, a trait I have gotten tired of, he still manages to make them work. If I could, I would give him a 5 out of 4, no, a 5,000 out of 4 star rating, but that would be stupid, so he gets a 4 out of 4. And because this theme song is still playing, I guess that means I have to continue talking about him. Um, great production values, and unfortunately it seems like he's more or less retired, so that is a great shame. Well, I guess that's it. Oh crap, I forgot all the others! There's also some call me Johnny, General Lots, and Vaulting. How should I categorize them? I guess I'd say they're worth watching if you like their chosen subjects. Some Call Me Johnny has always walked the line between goodness and greatness. His reviews are very intriguing, very well paced, and very entertaining, but he tends to speak a little too quickly. General Lotz has an ass load of knowledge at his disposal, and the info is good, but the reviews themselves are a little dry. Morgan, although he likes to be called Morgul's, wink wink, is inconsistent with his subject, but generally covers movies and TV shows that either have some sort of cult following, or maybe a little bit of a nostalgic appeal to them. They started off rough, which is another word for sucky, but he's probably improved the most of any reviewer featured on this show. He's pretty good now, but let's talk about the Season 4 race. There shall be 20 reviewers covered in the next season, and 8 of those shall be determined by you. All you have to do is place in the comment section who you want to see me review the most. It can be anybody, a popular reviewer, an obscure reviewer, a good reviewer, a bad reviewer, yourself, somebody else. You can only vote once though, and you also could have a choice between voting for somebody new or somebody you want me to see re-review. Now here are the options for a re-review. The Nostalgia Critic, The Cinema Stop, Gendude89, The Reviewer Reviewer, although I probably won't use any of his footage, I'll explain why in the future, The Nostalgia Chick, and Moronic Mark. Now, if you choose to vote for somebody you want to see me re-review, you could not vote for the first eight, unless those eight have already been chosen. So, who are some of the people I will cover for Season 4? I'll, so, I'll give you two. Iron Liz and Yahtzee. Actually, I'll give you three. Schmoes No is up there, too. So, don't vote for any of those guys. They're already chosen, but vote for anybody else. I won't be completely inactive over this break. I, of course, I'll do plenty of written reviews on my site, vlogs, uh, some guidelines episodes, some creepy bald guy episodes, some uh, review memoirs episodes, and if you want to see the results of who wins in the first eight, obviously, you can just look in the comments section, or you can just check on my Twitter account, where I shall post the winners there. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. And remember that those who cannot do, critique.